to something of Java game, Java basic tutorials. Yes. Well, that you heard me. It's basic Java. Yeah, everyone's happy because I'm not learning anything. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the ifs. So today in Java land, we're doing about ifs and, and ifs. So if something is true or if something meets the requirements of something, then we're going to do a certain thing. So say so basically we'll just get straight into it so we can make an integer called ben and we'll say it's equal to five so that's just like that so we can make a number called ben and it's going to be equal to five so just like well let's call it x just to make it simpler uh well not simpler but easy to understand so so if is basically the keyword for this and we have to put brackets always after the if statement always you put brackets and that's where you put the requirements so if x is equal to five now you might think that would work and these squiggly brackets here by the way guys they mean that if that's true then we're going to have to do whatever is inside here so you think that would work but really what that is saying is if and then new sentence x equals 5 so let's actually I'll type this out for you uh, so we're going to say if full stop x equals 5 instead of saying if x equals 5. So basically the way we fix this is we do a double uh, equals sign. So if x equals 5 we can just do system dot out dot print line and we can say x equals 5. So if we run this uh, here we go x equals 5 just like that beautiful so now what happens if it isn't equal to 5 is I'll, actually, I'll show you so say x equals 3 let's uh let's bring this down here it's just going to say terminate it because that's it that that nothing nothing is true nothing has happened so what we can do is we can put an uh, otherwise statement so it's not otherwise it's not otherwise uh it's called else and that's basically saying so if equals x equals 5 uh do this inside these squiggly brackets here else we're going to do what's inside these squiggly brackets here so system dot out dot print line x doesn't equal 5 so run this and down here it's going to say x doesn't equal 5 because x equals 3 so actually let's put uh, full stop x equals and then add something to string so you do x equals and then outside the uh, that one you put a plus sign so we're adding something to it and we'll just put x like that so that's going to print out the value of x so if we run this it's going to say x is equal to 5 x equals 3 now say we want to check if something equals other than 5 we have to put another if statement and it will get a bit tedious what we can do is we can just uh, remove this here and we can put else if now what that's doing uh, let's do x equals 3 so so if x equals 5 uh, okay, it doesn't equal 5, so let's go on to the next one. Else if, so if it equals 3, we'll do something here. So system dot out dot. I can't spell system dot out dot print line uh, x equals 3. And then here we can just paste in and then control shift f to format all our else statement. So to do that, by the way, you just highlight all, control x, control v, paste it. That's just cut and paste. So it's going to go, okay, so does x equal 5? No. Does x equal 3? Yes, let's do this, and it breaks out this loop, because it does equal something, so it's not going to go to the else statement. Let's go down here, x equals 3. Good, so let's change it to 5, x equals 5, change it to that number, x doesn't equal 5, x equals that number. So something else we could do here is say if x let's actually let's remove this else if statement here and yep so if x doesn't equal 5 we want to work out if it equals uh, something other than 5 so what we do is instead of putting equals equals we put exclamation mark equals so if x doesn't equal 5 so x equals 5 at the moment so it's going to say x doesn't equal 5 which is wrong but it doesn't matter at the moment so let's change x to 6 run it and it's going to say 
x equals 5. Good, because x doesn't equal 5, so it's going to say x equals 5. It's a bit confusing. So, basically, if x equals 5, and then say we want something else to be true for this to happen, say if x equals 5 and something else is true. So, we're going to make a boolean. Now, a boolean returns true or false. I don't know if I've already done this. But to make a boolean, you just do boolean, and let's call this y, and this is going to be equal to false. Now, what's that saying is a boolean is something where you can make things true or false. It's just quite... Uh, there's, there's two states to a boolean. True or false. Now, uh, that will go over this more in depth in later tutorials when we actually need to use it. So if x is not equal to 5 and, so you put double and sign because that means and y. Now what's that saying is it's saying if x isn't equal to 5 and y is true because that's how it works. And you can do and y equals equals true or if y equals equals false but you can just put y and it's better programming to do that because it, it does uh, cause less lag if you were to make a game so if y and then if we were to make this so e and it equals false we put exclamation mark y so if x isn't equal to 5 and y isn't equal to, is, is equal to false it's going to print out x equals 5 uh, yep so x equals 5 now we can say or so if if so if that equals that or that equals that then do this so regardless if uh, one or the other is true we can just do or so that's a double one of those line signs it's next to my shift key to the left of my z key but I'm on a laptop so I don't know whether it'll be different if you've got a different keyboard uh, so say so that is equal to 5 but that is equal to false it's gonna say if x isn't equal to 5 okay but that, that's true but that is false but that is equal to false, that is still going to run because it's or x equals 5. So thanks for watching this tutorial. That's about it for the else's and the ifs. This is a very useful thing. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.